right, welcome to episode two of Cooking with Dave and Nikki. Today we are going to do a burger bowl. But we are going to use deer meat because this is a wild game cooking show. Hopefully that's where we're going to gear it towards uh, eventually. Um, here's my list of ingredients. I'll go through real quick. But first, grab a beer. All right, so first we've got our uh, ground venison here. Also we're going to have a head of iceberg lettuce. I got some Roman tomatoes, avocado, red onion. We're gonna to get to cutting these veggies and we'll get right back with you. All right, I don't think I mentioned it before, but we are dicing these veggies, these tomatoes and these onions. That way we can mix them into our little toss salad here. Make sure to wash your hands, folks. Coronavirus. That shit is real! Goddamn Carol Baskins. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna add a little bacon to this uh, deer burger salad here because you can't have a salad without bacon. Because whenever you gotta try to eat something healthy, you have to add some fat to it and make it unhealthy. That's just a must. I'm gonna show you how Nikki likes to do the bacon. That way it doesn't make much of a mess. Let me All get right, that. What you got going on? Hey y'all. So, <laughs> hey y'all. Leave me alone. All right, so what you got going on here? How are we doing this bacon? So I'm starting off with some hardwood smooth bacon. I like to line my cookie sheet with some foil. Reason being is that any drippings that the bacon has is not going to get on my pan. Therefore, I don't have to do dishes, which is always a plus. So line your pan. Don't overlap the bacon too much. It doesn't cook evenly. Then you want to put your oven on broil. I go on the high side. Let that preheat. <laughs> all right, now that we uh, have our veggies all cut up and we got the bacon in the oven, we're going to start working on the meat next. We're just going to brown it. But first, grab a beer. Ah, All right, I'm gonna go ahead and season this deer meat. See, I season meat pretty heavy over here. We use quite a bit of spices and stuff. Uh, before I throw all these on, first, you finish your beer. All right, first ingredient, garlic powder. We're running low, we use a lot of it. Onion powder, pretty basic stuff here. Garlic salt, this stuff's pretty good. Be a little careful with it. You wanna, don't wanna make it like overly salty. I have Himalayan pink salt, just some uh, peppercorns. We like the little grinders that, you know, I don't know, they're fancy, whatever. Real time steak seasoning you can get from Kroger. It's basically just salt and pepper and some other stuff in there. Um, but it works out pretty good, it tastes pretty nice. So I'm gonna jazz this meat up here. All right, one of the seasonings I forgot is the minced garlic. We're just gonna go ahead and throw this in with our uh, ground meat here. Pretty heavy, we like garlic. All right, so once the, uh, the meat's done here, um, and once you got it good and browned, you don't necessarily need to drain it because it's venison and it's not beef. And so you just turn it to low or you can even turn it off because it's going to a salad anyway, so it doesn't necessarily need to be piping hot. And then you just let it, the juice and stuff just soak back into it. Since Nikki has taken way too long to make this salad dressing, we're just over here drinking beers. <laughs> she sees herself in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the salad dressing. But first, drink beer. Finish it. <laughs> starting all the way over, correct? Take 17 of the salad dressing. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start off with some mayo, some barbecue sauce, some onion powder, dill pickle relish. I like to add a little bit of crushed red peppers. So for your mayo, I usually probably add mm, about a half a cup, give or take. In this house, we don't really measure anything, so I apologize in advance. We're running low on barbecue sauce, so I'm just gonna add everything that's in here, but if you wanted, to, wanted a number, I'd give you about a quarter of a cup, give or take. 
So for your onion powder, again, give or take, probably about a half a tablespoon of onion powder. I don't measure anything. Dill pickle relish, probably about a tablespoon. Give it a good heaping. And if you're like me, like I said, I like some heat. So I'm gonna add about a table or a teaspoon or so of some crushed red peppers. There you got yourself a salad dressing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my bowl here and show you how it's done. But first, you got a shotgun of beer. All right, so we're gonna add some lettuce, tomatoes in there, a few red onions, a little bit of avocado, a little bit of bacon here, maybe a lot of bit of bacon. Put that over here on this side, make it look pretty for you guys out there. I'm gonna add the deer meat here. And put the dressing on top. All right, here's what we got. All right, got it mixed up a little bit. Gonna do a taste test here. Pretty damn good. A little bit healthier than a burger because the buns, but you adding some beers and some bacon. It's not that healthy still, but it tastes great. Thanks for tuning in for episode two of Cooking with Dave and Nikki. We've got some big things to come here. Stay tuned.